I've done this on dozens of uh, axes and hatchets and uh, I always get two comments. One, I hate that, can't stand it. And two, that's great, how do I do it? So I have repeated myself on uh, forums and uh, messages and emails on how how I do it when I see a picture and uh, I just keep repeating myself so I thought I'm gonna make a video and then I can point to it and uh, leave it at that so there's the video so I'm gonna do that today this is uh, it's on there that is bully full strong you cannot peel that off the only way is with a, a, a chisel or knife and uh, it's great it gives me a great purchase with the, I got bigger paws, so I like the little hair extra width, and uh, there's no slip. You can have full confidence, and when you grip that, you've got it. So uh, anyway, let's get cracking. Okay, so we've got a uh, brand new uh, small forest axe. I gave my uh, my last one away, so this is a new one. Whip up. Need two pieces of tape. And then some regular old jute twine. So, first things first, there's lots of uh, videos on whipping. Uh, Iowa Woodsman has a good one. And uh, so, we're going to make a just a bite. We'll put that up here, and that's where your first piece of tape is going to go to hold that down. Okay, and then your short, your short end is going to go straight back here like so. I'm going to put a piece of tape on that too. Alright, so now we're going to want to start about here, and we're going to go to about here. Just a good, good grip. So to start with, I'm just gonna put my finger on here and just start wrapping. Now I'm gonna do it a little bit uh, tighter. I'm not gonna leave much slack for the sake of uh, pulling this through again because in reality I'm not gonna pull it all the way through. I'm just gonna pull through the bite until it gets pulled underneath the the wrap. So. That's all we're doing. We're keeping it nice and tight, nice and even. Keep pulling her back, nice and tight. Round and round and round. Okay. I won't. Uh, I won't make you watch this whole thing. You get the point. So I'll bring you back when I'm up here. All right. Okay, we're coming into the, the finisher here. One more round. Okay, there's my loop again. So, I guess we'll cut this uh, cord. Get rid of that. All right, I'll hold that there. I've got uh, my single end here. So all I'm going to do is tuck this through this loop, like so. I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to, hopefully you can see that, I'm going to pull on that until that, see how that's pulling in? It's going to pull right underneath, like so. Now I don't, uh, a proper whipping is pulling it all the way through, but all I care about is getting that tucked underneath, and you'll see why later. But uh, that's good enough for me. It's pulled into about here. And that's, like I said, I wrapped the whole thing tight. So that is in there. So just cut that off of there. So that is basically whipped. So now the fun parts come. Alright, so what's the fun part you say? Well, here it is. My favorite part. On this jute twine, it's so fuzzy, I'm just going to burn it all off. Oh 
Ал нахар здесь. You're not going to get everything off, but uh, it really cleans it up. It gives it some nice color too. Just like so. Okay. Next. You hear my cricket? I kind of like them. Anyway, you can use uh, any epoxy that uh, you have around or you like. I've even used a, uh, a Gorilla Glue Super Glue. Probably half the bottle. But uh, I've used that before. It doesn't have the label. That's the Gorilla, but do not use this. This is the foaming type wood glue. So this is a super glue by the same same company. You can do that and just up and down. But I have a whole mess of uh, West system that uh, I have left over from some bolt building projects. So that's a two part. I just mix mix it up. Then go to your wife's craft uh, area and uh, get a little brush. So what we're doing here is we're just going to paint that right on there. And like I said with the other, you can just squeeze that up and down and same thing, just kind of work it right in between the fibers or the wraps. But I like this method a lot. And we'll just keep putting that on there. We're basically saturating the jute so that it's wet right until it touches the wood. And when that dries, it's solid with the wood. Uh, you get the idea. So just keep on working it. Even go over what you've already done before and just make sure that it is totally saturated right through to the wood. So I got that all got done. You. Just make sure your edges are nice and clean. And uh, that's that step. So let that dry until uh, the morning. And if you put it on as heavy as I do, you better come back in about 20 minutes. You may have to turn it, your axe in a different position if you get some runs down here because when that stuff is dry, you'll be sanding forever trying to get it off. So you better check at least after the first half hour and uh, go hide your paintbrush from your wife because it'll never work again either. So, see you in the morning. All right. Well, it's morning and the uh, epoxy is dry, and right now that feels like uh, it feels like grabbing onto a raspberry cane. It's still very rough, and very hard. So I'm gonna grab a piece of uh, sandpaper.
There you go. That might as well be part of the wood. For as strong as that is on there. So, I like it. I like the looks of it. I like the feel of it. It's not for everybody, that's for sure. If you're prone to uh, scurring up your your handle here, you can always do a couple fingers under here. I don't, uh, I don't care for it, but uh, that will protect that. And uh, like I said, that's not coming off of there. So that's how I whip my axes once and for all. So. So, I guess we could say, that's a wrap.